know you guys are excited for today's video, but before we get in, we gotta let you know that this hoodie right here, as well as a ton of other products at buckshunting.com are gonna be available this Thursday, the 13th. There's tons of stuff already on buckshunting.com if you guys wanna check it out. Otherwise, Thursday, we're gonna have this hoodie, we're gonna have new hats, we're gonna have new gear. I mean, right now we've got grunt calls, bleak calls, cleaning kits, Thermal pants, hoodies, hats, t-shirts, you name it, backpacks, fanny packs, you name it, we got it at bugshunting.com. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff available right now, but then Thursday, the 13th, we are dropping brand new gear, including this sick heavy duty. This is a custom Bucks camel. These are literally deer inside the camel. It's super warm, super cozy, and keeps you concealed in the woods. With that being said, get excited to watch me shoot a big old deer. Stay tuned. Shoo! What's going on, folks? How we doing? It is deer hunting time, baby. We are at the ranch. It is a cold front in October. That means you better be out there sitting in a tree, sitting in a blind somewhere. And we are gonna be doing one of the two, which is sitting in a blind. The wind direction's out of the east. None of my tree stands are good for that. Plus it's cold, so it's nice to sit in a blind. So we are actually gonna hunt a blind we've never been in which is a elevated blind on the desert plot. You guys saw we hunted in a tree, last time we were here, when Macy and Baby came down, we hunted in a tree stand. We hunted in the boomerang plot and saw a monster, monster, monster buck. But none of those blinds are gonna work for an east wind. And the last thing you wanna do is go bust them out of there. So we actually gonna go to the desert plot, which is kind of in the middle of the property in an elevated ground blind. And it's on the west side of the desert plot. So if they're walking down the desert, the wind should basically be coming across their nose and then hit us and then we go into the woods. So they shouldn't be able to smell us. It'll be kind of a crosswind. The wind will actually be in, in our face and they'll be in front of us and there's a trail. So the odds of them busting us is the least probability with an east wind. There's not a ton of wind, but there's some. Uh, and so that is the plan. But that being said, we are running a little bit late. You can see the sun's actually already starting to come up a little bit. We should be all right. We are gonna actually run the truck around to the other side of the property, get our boots on. We're gonna we're gonna hike in there. We are gonna be hunting with a bow, and I've yet to do it. Have a bow kill this year. This is hopefully gonna be the first one. We're I've been kind of holding out for that big boy. So if he comes walking, arrows are gonna be flying. So with that being said, it's enough talking. We'll see you guys up in the blind. We're in the blind, on the desert plot. The only time we've actually sat in here was the uh, crow hunting. That was fun. But the, per the wind is perfect. It's almost in our face. It's a little bit east, south, or that north. The wind's blowing out of the east. East, south. southeast. Yeah, east, southeast. That's what it is. Speaking of crows, they're horny already. But uh, we can actually see the, the pond dam. It's hard to see, but the pond dam is over there. So that's potentially some traffic. The desert plot is just in front of us. And they usually come from up there. Last video we sat not straight across from us, but just a little bit over that way. We had two small bucks walk by, but uh, the wind, like I said today, this is the only blind that really makes sense for kind of an east wind. So we're gonna see what happens if they walk this trail. Good things should happen, and we can pretty much shoot across this whole thing. I don't think I have enough light for my finder. Oh. So it's about 50 to the complete other side. So as long as they choose a trail, there's three trails. The middle one's probably 35. The close one's like 10. So as long as they choose one of these, we should be hopefully in business. So fingers crossed, baby. We gotta get the monster down on the ground. Sun 
it's coming. Alrighty, folks, we freaking suck. We actually just saw a coyote, which is kind of cool, but that usually doesn't do great things for your deer. But we did see, we saw a mom with twins that came around this corner right here and thought about plucking mom off, but no, I'm just kidding, I didn't. I, I was like, nah, we can't, you can't do that, man. If you your mom got babies, you gotta let them, let them go. Plus, if she's dropping twins, that's probably the one you want, because then if she's breeding with like the monster, the freak, then they're gonna have all sorts of little babies running around, which would be good. Um, although we do need to do some doe management which if tonight we're gonna go out tonight actually when we figured we we're gonna do some deer deer management like land management well we'll do out some some mox grapes and we're gonna sell some cameras we're not trying to try to make a huge ruckus but we're definitely gonna go around and that's that's the one thing we kind of lacked on was this you know early fall late summer was putting out cameras we just kind of forgot so a lot of our hunts have been i call them blind where you're just sitting because of the wind you don't really know what the deer are i mean the bucks are here i, I also oh what ooh, what do you think about putting a little ground blind up there tuck back what do you think i, I mean level no it's not level we were up in that blind so many deer hit this trail and then they split and went to the other side and they made for some far shots like we had plenty of deer in the in front of us today not many of them were within range besides that little tiny little buck i'm just like we got to figure out how to get some, either a, a tree stand or like i said even a ground the only reason why i like the ground blind idea is that yeah you're right it's not it's not level but you can get chairs with levelers. Actually, I have two coming. The, the front two level. So at least you're sitting a little level. But that way you're tucked back. That way if a deer's right here, you got like a 10 yard shot. I don't know. We might have, to, I got a few of them at the house. They're not doing anything there. So we might have to come up with something. I just know a lot of deer hit this trail and then there's a Y and they split off and they went around. And actually that's where the coyote went too. So that redneck is great. That blind up there is nice, but we need actual food there to hold the deer. So I don't know. We may, we try to look around and find find some other potential either tree stands or whatever it's just we got skirted a lot and i don't think it was because they smelled us at all honestly we didn't get busted one time i think the the plot was is kind of too big without having any food there to keep them there to meander so we might have to find a way to tuck something back in these woods here and just get a quick like straight up oh there's one right there draw back boom shoot just really really fast but we'll have to see i don't know if there's not a ton of trees that you could sit in that that's that middle one right that isn't terrible that one back there we could trim if we trimmed all these out of that, that wouldn't be bad shoot out this way i like that better yeah You're a little farther off their yeah off their trail that one we're gonna be like right in there right face. in their face yeah no i mean so we could we could look at doing that i don't know if we'll hang anything today but today like i said i think we're gonna get some cams out and make some mock scrapes probably go to the cabin chill out for a bit and then go back tonight that's the great thing about the cabin is if we can just go back take a quick nap head back out and uh we'll probably go to the boomerang plot which is where the monster's at that's where we've seen him uh because there's a south wind which isn't terrible for that location and uh it's probably honestly our best bet so that's the plan we're gonna head back go do a little bit of management some deer management get some cams out so that we're not hunting blind we had no idea what was coming through the the, the desert plot you know and that's how i like to hunt is just kind of knowing where the deer are and obviously with the the technology of cell cams that make it pretty easy so we are headed back we're gonna load up some cameras and stuff to make some crepes and we're gonna go out in the woods and see what happens stay tuned alrighty fellas we're in the blind tighter than freaking say or desert cold front my ass I'm sweating the wind is blowing kind of at our backs a little bit that way which hopefully the, the urine and the scrape scent will help kind of mask that. And in fact, the scrape scent's been here for like three hours. So that scent should hopefully blow down the valley and, you know, cover up ours. Hopefully. I'm not sure. We'll find out. But we're here and we got till 7. What time is it? Uh, 3.47. So we have three hours. We're going to see a lot of deer in three hours.
the dough right behind it now. Well, folks, the damn deer has damn did it. We actually saw a few, not a lot, not like the other night. When Macy and Brooklyn were here, we freaking saw like 18. I don't know, dude. I thought the cold front, well, it wasn't even a cold front. We were sweating in here, which also maybe didn't help. I thought the cold front would have helped, um, but I don't think it really did. We did, have, we saw one toe that bedded down in the trees, and then surprisingly nothing from to the north. Nothing even came from the west, which... The wind was blowing from the east, so like I thought they would enter. And then we had a small buck, a doe, and then like a medium, decent sized uh, buck. They all entered from the south end, which again I thought was kind of surprising. And they didn't like, they didn't bust on us, but it didn't get quite in. They were at 40 yards, which is, is definitely in range, but like also when they were in 40 yards, it was here. So I'd have to shoot through this window. And that if you guys saw the other video that like bigger buck that we saw tonight was the one that was with the monster and so i just didn't want them communicating you know if i if i shot the doe so that's pretty much it kind of a bummer two long, this is a full day of sitting two sits no harvest but we're not giving up we'll see you guys tomorrow this is it ladies and gentlemen it's now or never we are going to be sitting in the cabin plot meaning the food plot literally right here we're at the cabin right there we've got a stand we hung up actually on the beefcake construction channel because we had a full ranch chore day so we hung it up this is pretty much the only plot that we have not hunted yet and uh fingers crossed the old freak comes to play so we're gonna grab our gear got the old bucks pack on got the old camo Looking like a frickin' ninja. We're hoping for the old 15 yard chip shot. Fingers crossed. Stay tuned. Alright, boys. We're in the tree. It's game time.
Alright fellas, we made it. It's looking good. We've got a pretty strong north wind, which isn't great for this spot to be honest, but we don't really have a great north wind spot just based on how all this stuff lays out, but back down and around there, that's where we always see the big freaking deer, the monster, the freak, they all come from the woods. The wind is blowing that direction, more than likely they'll come from that direction. Now the biggest question is, can we conceal our scent enough to get them to not question us and just walk on by? The odds we see a big buck this morning is extremely high. The odds that they don't smell us and get a good shot off, well, that's up to the, uh, the deer gods to bless us with an opportunity to take down the freak. Fingers crossed. multiple days in the making folks and we made it happen we think <laughs> we're not the shot was a little high and a little back but it's better than the first shot i took on the doe in the first deer hunting video because that one was pretty dang high since we're shooting down i'm hoping it clipped the right lung and hit through the left lung got the double lung the one thing that's making us feel really good about it is we saw her go like not go down but tumble like fall to the ground get up tumble back down usually that only happens if you know we made a decent shot on it so it wasn't a perfect shot it wasn't my best shot but it was in fact the closest bow shot i've made this is what's crazy is this is the exact window that i shot my buck out of last year my very first archery buck roll the clip Meh. same spot but he was on the other side of the cedar tree so he was probably maybe 19 yards and that's this guy was shot right there uh, 12 12 yard shot not bad that's probably why it was a little high because i put the 15 i when i ranged her she was like 22 i put the 15 kind of center on her the 25 pin was like right at her belly so i split the difference when in reality i should have had the 15 down a little bit more but it's all it's just it's all part of it i drew back i didn't have time to rearrange her i drew back and she she walked probably 15 feet while i was drawn like i didn't i can't calculate the depth perfectly that's that's the challenge with bow hunting in general like that's 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 why bow hunting is challenging in of itself you know if she was in one spot i could range her draw back and shoot and odds are i would have hit her better but we feel good about it. We're gonna give it about an hour and uh, we're gonna go find the arrow, see how much blood's on it, and then see what the blood looks like kind of leading to where she did, she went. I don't wanna bump her, um, but I feel like an hour is sufficient. If I got both lungs, she should be down for sure within an hour. So stay tuned. 
Okay, boys, this is a good sign. Look at this air. I, I have to black and white it, I apologize. If you want to see everything, you got to go to Uncut, which will be linked down below. It's where we post all things gutting, skinning. We have an exclusive podcast over there. But check this out. Holy smokes. That thing is covered in blood. I mean, head to toe. She's covered. This is just a pile. And she's already, she's already bleeding right there. This is amazing feeling right now. Doesn't mean she's down, but you don't get that kind of blood unless you hit something good. <sighs> All right. We know where she went in. She went in right. It's like a well. There's a lot of yellow trees, but there's a skinny right around there. Right around there is where she went down or went whatever. So, dude, it just covered. <laughs> We've been it's crazy because I, I, I mean I was more excited about my buck but this was close and it's just a doe but we've been trying so hard to make it happen and we finally got the opportunity right there I've got, I'm, I'm not trying to jinx it but I've got a great feeling I mean it's cold north wind all right now we gotta find the next the next droplets Let's see where she went after that see because the arrows right there Wind. You have blood? You have blood? Let's go! Let's go! Is it good blood? Is it more than just the droplet? It's covered oh, in yeah. a bit. Oh, there's one on the, sp the spiky ball there. Okay, multiple drops. Before, the dough that we lost just had droplets. Is there more? Oh, yeah. Another one. Okay, this is good. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some on this stem. Yeah, on this stem. Oh, so it's that's what you want. You want the spray, and ideally, so I need to start. That's probably her right side. Ideally, if you can see it out of both sides, that's a really good sign. Oh, there's blood right here. I got one right here. Oh, there's, oh, there's like, dude, there's like 15 drops. Is there sprayed right there? Yeah. She's down, man. She's got. She's got to be dead. There's more there. Oh yeah. This is what you want to see when you're tracking one drop at a time. That doesn't mean you didn't get it. That's just not a good sign. This is a great sign when it's just splattered everywhere. I feel pretty good about it. We've seen way more blood than the other deer. And we're going to start. She was right. That yellow tree. That yellow tree right over there. That's where That's where she went in. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's a ton. Oh, that's... No, that's... All the way over oh, here. Oh, that's... Yeah. No, I, I feel like we can talk loud now. That's... <laughs> That, that's that's talking loud blood. Oh, is she right there? She's spraying out on the, all these leaves. Yeah. See all the little oh yeah. Right there. No, I'm feeling good. We can, I think we can talk loud now. That's I don't want to jinx it, but that's a lot of spray, which is what you want. Like I said, I've I've shot deer and I've recovered deer with droplets, like one, two, three. But when you got you got it spraying on both sides, you look at some grass and it's just sprayed up there. That's what you want. So she's right, back here right in here. I was gonna say she went like this and then I think she cut. Yeah, look at that little cedar tree. Oh my gosh, that cedar tree is completely red. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Right here it is. Yeah, so we're on the scissors. Let in right here. She's gotta be close. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> She's right there, bro. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. Oh it's lungs. Oh my gosh, yes. 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 Oh my Did she gosh. Hit? That's what when she jumped, yeah, jumped she jumped and hit the tree. tree. Look at the look at the blood on that. Oh, it's bubbling out of her. I don't want to get like too gruesome, but that's great news in in deer hunting because it, uh, if it's area, that means you hit the lungs, baby. Oh my god, you see this? Oh, it's where she jumped over this yeah. and then hit that. Tree. She jumped and she jumped and just t-boned the tree. Is what happened. <laughs> Literally. Oh my gosh, the first that's a big old doe too, baby. Mama, yeah. First deer of the year, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Like I said, you guys probably can't see this. If you want to see it in full, you have to go to Uncut. This is a big old mama, though. Look at all. The, look at the it's pile, just dude. Out it's just it. bubbling. It's literally bubbling. Yes, dude. That's a big mama. That's big old mama. That's what we were after, baby. Yes. Dude. Double long, baby. Double long shot. It wasn't a perfect shot, but I'll freaking take it. And she's gonna taste delicious tonight. I am freaking excited. Let's go, baby. Good freaking work. We put, we put in the work for the old dough, baby. 
I've never worked so hard for a doe in my life. <sighs> Archery hunting is no joke, but we finally were able to make it happen. Let's freaking go. All right, well, we can drag her up into the open, and then we'll go get the golf cart, and uh, we'll load her up. We're gonna get her gutted and skinned up, cleaned up, all that stuff, like I said, uncut, which will be linked down below, is where you can see all that stuff. YouTube, I've already been getting texts from other huge YouTube channels that do deer hunting. They're already getting demonetized, so obviously it's even risky posting this. So all that, like, you know, the whole shebang is on uncut. That's where you're gonna have to find all this stuff. It's unfortunate, you know, that YouTube doesn't allow this stuff, but it's just part of the game, and I still wanna obviously to deliver content to you guys regardless if you're on uncut or youtube so i'm gonna do what i can to show you as much as i can but we can't get put in youtube jail so anyways let's get her drug out cleaned up skinned up and get to cooking stay tuned all right boys you guys know the drill you can't see this on youtube if you want to see it like i said uncut link down below let's get to gutting Shoo! we made it folks if you guys want to see cleaning like i said uncut we showed you how to take out a delicious tenderloin out of the deer that is what we've got going on here. And uh, we have bacon and we've got duck seasoning. We've got all meat, we've got smoky barbecue and wild game. We're not gonna use all three. We'll probably use two of them, but there is a whole bunch of seasonings. Some of it's in stock, some of it's out of stock. If it's in stock now, there's a good chance it'll be out of stock. So you should check it out. Uh, link down in the description, down below, Duck Waterfowl. But we are gonna cook this sucker on the grill. Since we're gonna try two different seasonings, I think we're gonna go, I think all, all meat's like a safe one because it's just, it's delicious. I think I'm get, feeling a little wild right now. This is also wild game, so I feel like it makes sense. Smoky barbecue, you're gonna have to sit this one out maybe next time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tendy and we are going to give her the old slice down the middle. Look at that delicious meat. It is gonna be so good. So we're gonna season one, like I said, with some all meat. Wow, that's the whole freaking opener wide upside. Go ahead and throw some all, you gotta make sure she's packed and see that you don't wanna spill the nectar. See how the nectar is spilled? So you just take it and mop it up. Like the old Swiffer effect. Just get her all mopped up. You ain't trying to miss it. See, now you got free seasonings that you otherwise would have wasted. You cannot waste the nectar. Go and sprinkle it on there. You don't wanna miss the inside cut. Just like that. So roll her in there nicely. Get your bacon. And we are gonna bacon wrap this sucker all the way and wrap it up and we're gonna do that multiple times so that way this thing is completely covered in bacon you could toothpick it would probably make it a little easier but i think i'm just gonna give her the old wing i think that's sufficient you, you want more or nah, do, that'll work think that'll, that'll yeah, do that'll it do all right so same thing you got two pieces of bacon on there that sh that should work you don't want to cover it up and we've got wild game since this is wild game and we're gonna go ahead and just Give her the old smack, smack and pat. And remember the nectar, don't leave the nectar sitting there. It's got a little sugar in it, it's gonna add a little sweetness, a little barbecue. It's just, it's an amazing seasoning. Even though you don't need to cover up the taste of deer, venison and tastes delicious on its own, it's a great compliment. It, it, it's a nice twist. I, as you can see, I'm putting a lot more than that. It's not as strong, in my opinion, as all meat. All meat is definitely strong. There's a lot of pepper in there. This one is not as strong, so I, I'm gonna coat it a little heavier. And then same deal, we got our nice bacon here. And you can always season the bacon if you're feeling frisky. You know what I mean? If you're a big seasoned guy, you season that bacon if you want. But I don't think it's 100% necessary in this situation. Like that. And let's take it over to the grill. All right, grill is piping hot. We got a little tray here, which I think will help keep the juices uh, searing the bacon. So that way it hopefully gets a nice crust. So going on, boys. All meats on the right. Wild game on the left. Did that not look amazing? We are gonna cook a medium rare, hopefully, fingers crossed. It's kind of tough to get medium rare and cooked bacon, which is why I cranked it on freaking high and I put the little cast iron grate. Sear that bacon, sear that bacon, take her off, let her rest, and dig in. It's gonna be delicious. Stay tuned. Shoo! We made it! This is delicious looking. This is top notch, okay? Putting it on the little cast iron grate made this bacon. It's extra freaking crispy. I will say, Pro tip, wrap it tighter than I did and use toothpicks because I had to kind of like rewrap it a couple times as I was flipping it. But over here, this is the wild game, which the other thing that was cool when I was kind of messing with the bacon, we didn't really film it, but it's just grilling folks. It ain't a big deal. A lot of the bacon grease got down in it. And when the bacon fell off, don't tell anybody, but I took it and tss, tss, it's got a little bacon grease on the actual really? meat. Oh yeah. It's going to be the greatest. I'm going to try it without bacon. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That is I think it's wild game, isn't it? No, I think that might be 
That's just all meat. I'm pretty sure it's. I can't not, see. Remember when I had them figured out? No, I didn't. Right. I that that piece didn't. I didn't have a whole lot of seasoning. Oh yeah, juicy. Them juices in there. I feel like that's wild game. Maybe I didn't put enough seasoning on it. It's really good, but I, it's not like distinct. All right, I'm gonna try the other one. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> that's the old that's, wild game. That's fire. The other one. It's, it's for a, a, a basic, tame mouth. You just want a good steak, all meat, way to go. If you want to have a party in your mouth, throw that wild game on there. I haven't even tried it with bacon yet. Here we go, boys. Oh, yeah. She came out. It looks a little bit more done. I think it's the sunlight, if you've ever noticed that. If it's, like, super bright, you don't see the dark. I pulled them out about 125 to 130, which, like, 135 is medium rare. So it look, this probably looks like cat food to you, but I, if we go inside, I promise it's not. It's the it's the it, the sun is freaking the rays are right in our eyes right now. I'm not just making excuses. I really did take it out at like 125. So, and it's tender. It's not over overly cooked. A little bacon bit. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. No, you got you can't miss the bacon. You can't put the fat in there. Mm. Oh my gosh. With the bacon, that is insane. Mm. All right. You get a little all meat action with the bacon. This is, it's so simple. Like there's nothing to it. There, it's not even a recipe at this point. It's two ingredients plus seasoning. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like it tastes like a really good steak with all meat, but with wild game, it's just, it is a, just a party in your mouth. Dude, that is crazy. This sun makes it look like it's- Doesn't it look like it's freaking cat food? Yeah. It's not. I promise. Mm -hmm. It's nice and tender. Yeah, I'm glad she ain't snorting at us anymore. Yeah. She's good on the old no. plate. Yeah, she's she's nice. And that yeah. look at crisp crispy bacon too. Oh Ooh. god. Yeah. <laughs> oh. A little bacon bit action. Alright, we're going in. We're uh -oh. going big dog uh -oh. here. There it is. That was a mondo bite. But I guarantee you you're not regretting it. The crispy hey, bacon. Crispy mm -hmm. bacon is so you, the Double hardest grill. part is wrapping something in bacon on the grill, getting the meat to be medium rare, but the bacon to be crispy. I figured out the hack, folks. You gotta use a cast iron like griddle like I just had because it keeps the bacon fat on it so it fries. It doesn't cook the bacon, it fries the bacon. Then, like I said, if you really wanted to do it, you could always just fry the bacon on the side, grill the meat, and then you could like rub it in there. But I, that's right, I went tss, 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 and I seared it in the bacon grease, making it even better. That is wild game now. This is wild game. I don't know. What have we held wild game? I don't even know if I've had wild game. Really? Oh, no, no, you definitely, definitely put had it on wild the old raccoon game. or beaver or something. No, the dove, I think we had some wild game on it. That was a big old bite, too. Mm. There's a lot going on there. That's better. I think it's so. got the sweet. It's sweet. The savory. Yeah. Spicy. That's the deal. Yeah, there's there's more, like I said, there's more going on with the wild game. Uh, like I said, if you just want a good old, hey man, I'm just going for a nice little filet, maybe some garlic butter on there, then I say all meat. But if you want to cook something with a ton of flavor and have a party in your mouth, that wild game's it. Is that that's what you're, that, that's your vote for? I vote wild game. I think wild game won as well. There you have it, folks. We got the first year down on the ground for the year. Finally, it only took way too many days, but we made it happen, and uh, and it was delicious. And like I said, it was super easy to harvest. Um, if you want to see how to take the tendies out, obviously, like I said, you can see it uncut and ripped them out. Same day. The day is the same day. You were wearing the same hoodie. Yep. I just took my hoodie off. But I, it's same day. You don't even, like, a lot of times you have to, like, hey, yeah, you still have blood. I still got blood. Oh, I, I say, I still got, yeah, my pants are still, yep. Same day. You, a lot of times you have to, like, age deer with the tendies. You don't got to. That's my favorite part. As soon as I harvest meat straight in the mouth. You got to try it, folks. Get your grill. I had it at 450. 425 the highest it goes seared that freaking bacon took it off at 125 let it rest it is delicious hope you guys enjoyed today's video remember buckshunting.com you got to go there if you want anything deer hunting related tons of new products and you can pretty much get geared up with everything from the backpacks we were using today the waist packs we were using today the hoodies we were wearing today the hat we were wearing today like everything that you saw in today's episode will be available at buckshunting.com hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you and peace